Hello folks, this is Senile Sarge, and today we're gonna do a video based on a lot of questions that I received from you. What operator and class should you pick in game? Let's get after it. All right, don't forget to take a few minutes to like the video. If you have any comments or questions, please post below in the comments. If you're a content creator or you're looking for a community to play caliber with, come join us at Rally Point. You can join at discord.gg forward slash Rally Point. Uh, and the link is also in the description for you to click. The first question you have to ask yourself is what type of combat do you like? And this is a really, really important question for anybody that wants to play caliber. Do you like to you know, be up close and personal whenever you're in battle? Or do you like to kind of be, be from a distance? And understanding that will help you greatly as you move into, into this game. If you like supporting your you know, team more of in a supportive type element, if you like to, to shoot from long distances, if you like to heal, you know, all of these things are, are questions you need to ask. And if you've played any tactical game, any shooter type game, you're gonna have that answer. You're gonna know. Uh, because Caliber you know, is only going to put each one of those different uh, classes, it, you're gonna see it as you start to play them, how important it is to kind of know that. If you like being up close and personal and then you take a sniper, you may not like the game because it's going to be a little bit more slow paced. Or uh, the, the, another example is if you like to be up close and personal and you choose medic where you're supposed to be helping your team the entire time, you may not like it. So it's super important to understand your play style. If you're still not sure after I say all of that, then the prologue is the best place to learn the differences between the operators. I mean, they give you an opportunity inside of the prologue area, which you can go here. And you're going to start the game and be doing it, but you literally can come inside of each one of these and play the assault, support, marksman, and medic. So that gives you an ability to go through and feel the game as that uh, class, you know, to get an understanding of, of what it's like to play that class. The best part is you can play it multiple times. So even now, you know, I'm a level 13. I, I literally could play these four again just to get the best feel. When I played this, the ones that I like the most was the assault and uh, the medic. Those are my two that, that I loved. Um, but I've come to find out that I also like the support, but it just took a little bit of time and it wasn't because I thought I would like support, it's because of the necessity that I had to play support based off those I had around me. So super important for new players, play the prologue. I know you wanna jump straight in the game and just start running and gunning and doing your thing, but trust me, it's gonna help you long-term. This is not a quick game, you're gonna level up uh, very very fast I mean, i've been playing it for a while now and i'm still only a level 13 i think i'm fixing to hit 14 so it takes time um and the grind you know you don't really feel the grind but there's definitely a grind there uh, but if you have players it's just it's just going to be like that so if if you can play all four please do it the best part about the prologues you're going to get rewards uh by playing them so that's another reason that you should play it so it's not like you're just doing it uh for no reason you're actually going to get some really cool stuff from it once you've played the prologue, and this is more for the new players, now you know now you're going to be able to, to physically look at kind of the operators, right? And you're and you're going to see it um, as you start. You're going to kind of have, be able to choose once you can get in game and you've played the prologue. You're going to be able to now choose your class and start you know kind of grinding through that portion. All, a lot of these characters over here are going to be locked for you. You're not going to have an ability to open them. Um, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I think it's level four, maybe a little bit less uh, that some of these will start to come. It's really based off your coins and your credits, you know, when they open up, you know, how well you do with others. Don't waste your money. I, I can tell you that right now. And what I mean by money is not physical money that you in your bank, but I mean in-game currency. Don't just waste it. You need to make sure that the class that you're currently playing is the class that you like. So not only can you play the prologue, you also can play with these recruits and get a feel for what they can do. And you're gonna be able to go in and physically be able to use them just like you would any normal time, uh, actually open up some of their progress, you know, some of their different uh, upgrades that they have to get a feel of what that, that class is gonna feel like. So don't just go in and start, you know, purchasing stuff, making yourself um, one character when you're not really sure that that's where you wanna be. Uh, some operators, when you, when you get in game and you start looking at, and here, let me choose a different operator. So we'll go in and we'll just choose uh, Corsair. It's really important to understand that you, you've got to look at all of these operators, okay? And and it's one of the first things I remember watching a video and somebody saying, and I was like, oh man, I don't want to, but, but you need to. You need to go through each one of these and understand what they do. 
and you can get a quick shot here with the operator wheel which we'll talk about in a second but realistically you need to go in you need to click on them you can read the personal file right uh, this is important because it tells you all the different stats of the character it gives you a little bit of backstory which i like but more importantly you have the equipment most people i don't think click the personal file so they don't even pay attention to to this piece it's different for every character so it's important that you look at these and kind of understand them from an equipment standpoint it's nice to know if you look at this hk right here the firing mode is full auto some of the characters could be single fire some are going to be auto fire and some are going to be full auto it's important to understand that. it's also important to know hey how many uh, how many mags do they have and you know how long does it take them to reload and all of these things are things that you want to look at you need to know what, what's their special munition like what are we going to be able to do with this character and then finally what is their ability right so once you've done that and you've looked at this and you, and you think you've gotten the right weapon mix for the type of gamer you are again if you're somebody that likes the the single shots good find a character that does single shots there there's no way to improve that or change that i mean that's what that character is you're not going to change the weapon that so you need to find a, an operator that has that if you like a full auto then okay maybe this is the one for you once you've done this and you've looked at this side now we we have to go to the operator wheel and I don't think a lot of people are paying attention to this operator wheel. So I'm telling you, you need to. You need to understand the difference between the damage, control, utility, mobility, and toughness, which is starts here damage and it goes all the way around. So we know with this character, right, Corsair, we're going to do really, really well uh, for damage, right? We're not all the way to the tippy top, but we're about halfway. So we're going to do really good damage. And the second thing that this character is going to be good at is mobility. Those are kind of the two areas that you're going to see. And that mobility is kind of your, your stamina, stamina, right? And how fast they can move and things like that. So this we know. We know from a utility standpoint, that there's not a really good sustility. It doesn't really affect the team that much. You know, and that's the black mark is basically what you have here. You're just outlining the target so it's visible to, uh, to your opponents. Not, not a huge thing. We do see that there's some control. So there's some negative effects that are going to come from this character. And then we have a pretty small amount of toughness so for an assault character that's going to be up front you've got to use cover with this character right so we can kind of read through that and see and if we go and we look at just another one we can see there's a total difference here right this one you can see damage is all the way up for uh, avant-garde right so all the way to the top and then you can kind of see how it is so so these are important the other thing to pay attention to is the range and the difficulty so what I've learned with the difficulty is, is that you have multiple things that, you know, it's like, uh, it's like any other game. If you can stack multiple things on top of each other, the character is much better, but sometimes it's not easy. So for this one, you actually have a revenge ability that comes with, uh, comes with him. So there's some really unique things that, that happen, but being able to use the revenge at the right time, as well as weapons and everything else may be a little bit more difficult, but you can get the idea. Your range is how close you're going to be from the enemy, where your effectiveness is. So. You can see the range here, the closer you are, the, the better. Uh, most marksmen are going to be towards the, the backside here. So this operator wheel matters. So again, I got to stress, you got to go through all of these, or you should. Again, it's on you if you do or not. But I'm telling you for new players, take time to go through these and, and look at them. If you're playing a character that you enjoy in this game, you're going to love the game. If you're not enjoying the game, it's most likely because you don't have the right character. And I would say that three or four times to you, but I don't need to. Um... Review all the operators. We talked about that. Uh, don't don't start spending money just to spend money. You're going to learn a lot by reading. Just kind of a quick synopsis of this video for everybody. Um, play the prologue, right? Take time to play the recruits. So come over, play each one of these again. That gives you two or three times to to make sure that you've got the right uh, you know class that you want to be in. Once you've got the class, now take time to read through all of the operators to understand what they do how they do it, what type of weapons they have, what's their range, what's their difficulty, what's the operator wheel say about them. Then read the operator wheel, not once, but twice, and maybe even three times to understand what the effects are. You need to understand that if you're going in solo, you may play differently than if you're going in with a team. And, and that's another thing to, to just think about. If you're going in with a bunch of randoms, you don't know who those randoms are. You may want a little bit more toughness, for instance, because you may not you know, have somebody, your medic may not be healing you. You know, they may be going, uh, they may be doing a little bit of Blue Falcon on you and just kind of running amok, uh, but that's okay. You, you just need to offset that. If you do play with a team, then it's really easy because you can offset based off what that team is. 
And the last part is don't just start buying operators. Listen, take take time at the beginning of the game to kind of grind through, you know, four between four and ten, which is basically your your level. And you're gonna get enough credits and, and coins to be able to upgrade to the operators that you want. There is a grind, but you're trust me, you're gonna get plenty of coins and uh, credits, especially if you're winning matches to be able to get the right operators. Already know, identify the ones that you want for the classes that you're playing. And I would tell you, you probably want to pick um, a primary and alternate, just like I did. I picked Assault and I picked Medic. Th those are my primary and uh, secondary, but now it's really become Assault and Support because I found that I love that much better, but I know I can play Medic should I need to. Uh, post below and, and let me know if, well, basically let me know what operator are you playing? You know, what class? Why did you choose it? Help somebody else with, uh, you know, things that you've learned. Uh, so if you want to put why you picked it, uh, if you have recommendations for that, that class or that operator based off what you've seen, those are all super important. And also know that picking your operator may be different between PVE, PVP, VE, and then of course your PVP. So just know that there may be some difference. As always, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Seen Sarge, signing off.